Hey guys, Chris here with BBK Performance. Today we're going to do a quick install video on this 2016 and up Camaro SS. We're going to be installing the new BBK black rotomolded version uh, cold air induction system. Um, on this cold air, we are getting some pretty good gains. We're gaining about 15 and up horsepower on these, depending on your application. Uh, let's get right to it. We'll show you how to bolt on some power. Hey guys, we're going to start off this install by disconnecting the negative battery terminal. Just going to want to pull back this little piece here, and it kind of pulls out. Then you're going to take your 10 millimeter wrench, and right inside of here, you're going to go ahead and loosen this battery cable up. I'll wiggle it a little bit here and just set it off to the side. Now it's a good thing to set a rag here because with the negative battery terminal disconnected, you will not be able to pop the trunk electronically. So go ahead and put a rag here, leave the trunk open during this install, and we'll get back to closing this all up at the end of the installation. Next we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove, there's a, a clip around this here and it's a one-time use clip only. So once you get it off, you can cut it off, you can pry it off and remove it from the vehicle. And then you're just gonna simply remove this hose from the intake inlet tube. On this one down here, it's gonna have the same clip. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna either pry it off, cut it off, and it's pretty pliable. These, you don't have to worry about. They're not gonna be reused on the BBK cold air induction kit. Next, we're gonna disconnect this vacuum tube here, and you're gonna simply push in on the one side so it pokes out, and you'll pull up on it, and release it from its position. Next, let's go ahead and disconnect the wiring harness from the mass air sensor. Underneath, there's that little safety clip that you gotta pull back on, and then you'll press on it and simply pull it off. Moving on to the driver's side of the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and unclip this little clip here these swing open. We're gonna pull up the sound tube, go ahead and close that clip, that way it can't slide back inside. And this is located on the, the air box assembly. Next, we're gonna loosen the clamp on the inlet tube that connects to the throttle body. Go ahead and loosen that up quite a bit. Then you can grab your inlet tube like this, give a little wiggle, and it'll come right off. Now we're gonna remove the whole air box assembly, including the inlet tube and the air box. You're simply gonna pull up on the air box. It's gonna release from its rubber grommet settings. And then you lift it up, and we'll take it out of the vehicle just like so. Now after the air box assembly is removed, we wanna go back and make sure all these rubber grommets are in its place here. If any of these get torn or damaged, or you lose one, you'll have to locate your nearest dealership to have one replaced. Now that we have our air box assembly and inlet tube on the bench, we'll go ahead and remove this vacuum port. That's gonna be reused. We're gonna remove the two hex head T-screws from the mass air sensor. These screws you will just leave back in this air box. On the BBK cold air induction, we supply the screws that will be holding your mass air sensor to the inlet tube. Be careful with this piece. Try not to drop it, damage it, get it dirty. They're very touchy. Let's go ahead and assemble the cold air induction for the BBK rotomolded molded version. You're gonna take your tube with this part here facing down, you're going to want it to slide through this cutout here. I'm going to pop through. Now we have another sensor over here. You're going to want to rotate it until it pops through that section there. And we also have your mass air location that's going to get rotated and it's going to come through the bottom like so. With the air inlet tube inside the housing, we can go ahead and assemble our BBK conical reusable washable air filter. 
we'll go ahead and put it on. I like to put the clamp on this with it flat with the mass air meter because once it's actually all in rotation, it looks better that way. Now with the filter installed and all tightened up, let's go ahead and install the mass air sensor. We'll take our sensor. This opening on the sensor is gonna face the conical air filter. This is directional, it's only gonna go in one way. Using the supplied Allen screws, go ahead and install the screws and tighten them down. Now with the mass air sensor completely tightened down and installed, let's go ahead and rotate this over and we're gonna install the last piece of the vacuum system assembly for the cold air intake. This piece doesn't have to be wrench tight, it can only be hand tight, but you do want it to point this way towards the corner of this. And then you're gonna want this upper end to face up towards the emblem on the cold air. So we can go ahead and assemble this onto there. Let's go ahead and install the coupler that connects the inlet tube to the throttle body. We can set this on. And we'll go ahead and tighten up this big clamp here to go ahead and secure it to the inlet tube. Now let's go ahead and take this assembly and we'll install it on the car. You know, wanna go ahead and drop this in like this. Doesn't have to be any specific way right now. We wanna just get everything close to being in place. The first thing I like to do is line up this one bung here. Once this is in place, go ahead and press it down. You'll reach inside the air box to guide the rubber boot here over the air box inlet. Make sure your grommets line up and you can just, that one's gonna pop in, that one's gonna pop in. And the air box is installed. We'll go ahead and move on to the cold air tube. Go ahead and pull on this a little bit here. Reach that. You want to put some grease here. With the cold air positioned over the throttle body, using the coupler, we'll go ahead and make sure it's pushed onto it all the way. And we'll go ahead and tighten down this clamp. We'll go ahead and finish connecting all the other tubes on this. We like to put a little light grease on it so that way it can just slide into your rubber grommet. We're gonna hook up the vacuum line. Simply push that down until it clicks. We're gonna take our wiring harness for the mass air sensor. I like to route it over these. And we're just gonna simply plug that in. Press the safety clip on the back, and your install is now complete. Let's see what she sounds like. Now with the cold air installed, let's go ahead and reconnect the negative battery terminal. We're gonna go ahead and install the little door back on here. Take the rag out of position. Go ahead and shut the trunk. All right, let's see what this thing sounds like. And there you have it, the BBK Black Series Roll to Mold Edition for the 2016 and up Camaro SS.